Okay, YouTube, what I want to do is get prepared to mount the uh, top part of our inverter onto our uh, battery, uh, our uh, connector box where all the breakers are at. So I'm going to get all the screws that I need close by, ready to go. And then we should be able to mount our inverter directly on top without any trouble. Now currently we've got eight screws on the top, we've got eight screws on the bottom, so that's 16 screws holding 110 pounds. So that should be okay. We'll find out how far we can go with it. Uh, so far I think it's looking pretty well. And from, basically from here on out we're going to be looking at a lot of wiring and stuff like that so that's going to be pretty cool also we're going to be uh, this pipe that goes down to the battery box it's, I'm going to move some stuff around I'm going to move this pipe around a little bit the uh, exhaust pipe for the venting if you can see it's right here I will probably bring it out a little bit that way I can put my conduit straight up in the holes that are already sized properly, which is going to be pretty cool. Uh, so far it looks pretty well. And I'm excited. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and move on to the uh, connecting the Magnum inverter to the Magnum box with all the wiring that is required. Okay, this is the first part of wiring this up. You've got these three connections. These, uh, actually there's four. One, two, three, four. So you've got these four on top. You've got hot two output, neutral. This is neutral again. They're both tied together right here by this loop. And then hot one output. So this goes to the neutral bar with one leg. This goes to hot two output, which is red in the box. And this goes to hot one output, which is black in the box. You can see they're labeled right there. Let's back up here. And I've already took the liberty of running the wire inside of here for us. So this white wire is gonna go to this neutral bar. Okay. This red wire is going to go to this black bar. This red, this red wire goes to the red bar, this you know bus bar, and this black bar it goes to this black bar. And from those bars, it's going into the top of this breaker right here that's in the center. And well, I'm just going step by step attaching the inverter. So we're getting closer to the end of the video and. I'm enjoying all of doing this wiring. It is so much fun to me. I, I, I really miss spending time working on wiring because it, 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 it's something I was good at at work. It, it's something I can appreciate when I was always working every day. Now I'm only doing YouTube. and it, I'm going to try to share my experiences and knowledge, anything that I can try to help you with during my, you know career as a heating and air conditioning technician because so i've learned a lot of control systems in the middle of that so it's really fun and doing this brings me back to those days where i've got like 10 units to wire up and they're you know i have to tie them all together and get them all done it's just it i enjoy it i remember it well i enjoy it and it, it's very fun 
but it's getting closer to the end of the video you're looking at the last two wires on this part and I, I've got more wires that I'm gonna tie in there's only uh, three more wires that need to go into the inverter currently it's the uh, hot uh, power going in hot power uh, one going in hot power two going in and the ground wire that's gonna go in and then there's a ground wire on the bottom that I haven't tied up yet and I'm still working on it and it's it's getting late in the evening so I need to be patient I haven't tightened up the bolt so I'll definitely need to do that but you'll also want to go through every single connector inside the box that has a wire attached to it and tighten it down just a little simple tip just because it came from the factory looking clean I went back through all of it and a lot of the screws wasn't tight enough I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys go from here and check back with the next video this is Philip 20 with solar power electricity and electronics and I'm gonna holler at y'all later